All right, let's restart the video with my headset on. Um, let's get a picture of me. Hey, too much sexy for that camera. Um, all right, so there's a yard dog coming down the road right there. I'm gonna go chat with him whenever he makes it here. So my luck has run out. Um, I finally got a, uh, a trailer that did not pass inspection. Now he has a uh, container and the containers go in this row right here, so he should be driving right by me. Um, he'll probably be coming around that turn any second, unless he drives all the way down, which that's a long way, so I don't think he will. So I'm gonna hit him up right here. So just a second here. I'm gonna flag him down and, and chat with him. I'm probably gonna have to wait till he finishes back again to, uh, to go over and talk with him. I'll let him know what's going on and, and ask him what he wants me to do. Face mask up. I have a bad tire, a mechanic is coming out, where do you want me to park that to have it work on it? So just get one of the spaces that has multiple openings? Okay, cool. All right, thanks, sir. All right, so he just basically said any damn where I want. He said I can switch over to one of these spots that has like uh, multiple openings to give the guy enough room. Um, so I'll, I'll probably move over to that spot right there. Uh, let's go check it out real quick. I'll come back over here and show you the, uh, the tire. Um, yeah, there's plenty of room. So it's on the, uh, it's on, it's on that side over there is the tire. So I'll probably park in this space or this space. I'll probably get this space just in case he needs to do something on the other side, which I doubt he would, but I want to give him as much room as possible. And you know what? I might actually get the very, I'm going to get the very far space. That way the, the shadow of this light, because if I get, if I get that space, you know what? It still might be good. The, um, well, his truck, he's probably going to park his truck right next to it. Yeah, I'll probably get this space right here. That should be good. There should be enough light on it and everything. But we'll go over and take a... So roadside told me it was going to be like 60 to 90 minutes. So... Who knows how long it's actually going to be. Let's grab the flashlight here and I'll show you. There are some other issues, but I'm not really going to push it on these other issues. So I'm missing half the damn recap, as you can see. This is not something that happened in the yard. Um, a recap doesn't come off like that in the yard here. So whoever dropped this trailer just dropped it like that. They didn't do a post trip. Where's the trailer I dropped? Oh man. Person bumped that thing. 
Uh, I have 216011. I dropped it right there. So see, the one I dropped has nice good tires all over it. Nice good everything. See, I don't drop trailers missing recaps or with lights out or any shit like that. Now, if I do find something on my post trip, then I put it on my post trip report. And they're supposed to get somebody out here to fix it um, before the next person picks up that trailer. So, all right, so I've got the, uh, the tandems unlocked. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out of here. You see the pins are not locked in and that's pulled out. I'm going to uh, pull out of this spot and um, slide the tandems forward and park into the other spot. Ugh. Letting all the bugs in. I'm going to have to sit here and run them off if anybody tries to park next to me. So that sucks. All right, so let me, uh, I'm going to put this in the holster here. Hopefully it'll hang in there for the bumps. So yeah, it's just missing half the recap on that tire. You know what, I should probably slide them right here before I start turning while I'm still straight. That should be good. Be right back. I'll probably lose voice as I get away from the phone. You know, some of the most difficult backing is whenever you have too much room. Like, this is basically a straight back. Like, it's wide open across from here, it's wide open there. Like, I'm gonna screw this up. <laughs> like, this is about as easy as it gets. Uh, let's see. Alright, I wanna be one space over. too hard. See? I told you I was going to screw it up. I cut too damn hard. So now I'm going to have to cut back hard the other way. I'm going to have to do a pull forward to straighten up on this thing. Somebody 
you said 60 to 90 minutes, and that was about 10 minutes ago at 4.30 a.m. Um, this is going to set me back a bit. Um, so the yard dogs are just going, driving around, uh, like writing down the trailer numbers and stuff that are in the rows. D1 through D20 here at this Kimberly Clark, those are the USA truck spots. We're supposed to park in D1 through D20. But occasionally we'll have JB Hunt and these other carriers park in our spots and we'll all of our spots will be full and we'll have to go park them somewhere else. Like uh, as you can see the there are tons of open um, spots for containers. All the containers are supposed to be over over in that area. Well, right down there in D2, it's supposed to be USA truck section. There's a damn container, some lazy container driver just plugged it in right there. I don't even know if it's lazy because that's not actually an easy spot to get into. If you come from that direction, yeah, it's like if you flip around here, which there's plenty of room to do a U-turn, then yeah, you can whip it in there. Um, but coming from the direction most people go, no, not easy. So what we got going on here? Uh, let's grab my laptop and my keyboard and laptop here. And I'm having to run uh, the truck instead of the APU, um, which uh, this is gonna like screw up my schedule a little bit. Um, because I was, I need to get my APU worked on. I was planning on going by, uh, what is it, uh, APU Center in Stratford, Missouri, to, to get it fixed. Because um, it just went out last night. It just started giving me issues. You know, let me turn my fucking headlights off. I think I'm gonna maybe grab something to eat and watch a movie and sit here for, it's probably gonna be about two hours because it's gonna be an hour to an hour and a half just for the guy to get here. And then um, it's probably gonna take him about an hour to fix the tire. Maybe not an hour, the, the people they send out on roadside are usually their top mechanics they don't send out just like their tire people on roadside stuff, typically. Unless they don't have any other choice. They send out the real mechanics on roadside repairs, even if it's just a tire replacement. Um, and when I was talking with the roadside, I was like, oh, and I have a spare. And he goes, is it one of ours? I was like, wait a second. I went, oh, oh yeah, you're right, you're right, my bad. <laughs> I said, I just switched over from company to owner operator. And I had my truck in for a preventative maintenance right before I turned it in and I had a, a new spare put on there and I, I forgot, yeah, I don't have a spare tire on this truck. He was like, oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, we're good. Oh, I didn't show you the other issues with the truck or with the trailer. The, uh, the skirts, um, half of the stabilizer things are broken off on the skirts. The skirts are still connected to the trailer, but the stabilizers that keep them from whipping around are, half of them are broken. Um, they're not going to do anything for that, so I'm just not going to mess with it. But that's what's going on. I'm going to be sitting here waiting on a, uh, you know, playing on my computer back here in the cab, and I'm probably going to, let's open up the fridge here. We'll see what we got in here. We got an empty bottle of water full Gatorade, some milk, some barbecue beans, and I haven't even put anything in the freezer because, oh, it's from the top, oh wow, there's ice in there, it's so small, uh, you can only put like a couple of TV dinners in there, I might get some ice cream, start stocking some ice cream in there, um, but you know, I, I have a weight problem I need to get in, in control, so I should probably stop thinking about buying ice cream. But anyway, that's what's going on right now. Sitting around, um, waiting for the uh, the tire person 
and uh, then I'm gonna go to Stratford, Missouri and get my APU worked on and then I'm hoping to still put on some miles today I can't remember what exactly the situation is on the the delivery times on the loads but I know that I have a pretty big delivery window on this one I can deliver it as soon as I get there and my next one I cannot pick it up until um, I can't remember when but uh, like I have quite a bit of extra time on this load but I don't want to be really lackadaisical on it um, I want to you know get up there and, and you know turn and burn as much as possible um, and unfortunately it looks like I'm gonna be stuck with this trailer no 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 it's a drop and hook at the place I'm, I'm going to a Dollar General then it's a live load at the next place then it's a live unload basically whatever trailer I get out of Dollar General that's gonna be the trailer I'm gonna be stuck with for a week so I'm gonna try to pick a good trailer coming out of Dollar General um, hopefully they have multiple to pick from and there's not just like one piece of shit trailer there which is uh, unfortunately what I deal with a lot but um, yeah so we'll get this uh, we get this fixed and man a lot of these tire repair people they don't even like knock on your door when they show up they'll just like you'll look out and there'll be somebody replacing the tire <laughs> like they're just like bam really quick about like doing it so um, yeah so I'm gonna I'm gonna like try to make the best of this time I'm gonna look at some loads on the load board uh, I'm gonna grab something to eat you know take some some of those uh, barbecue brisket baked beans and uh, microwave them and uh, eat some of those um, and uh, my restoration I have already been here for 52 minutes holy crap I've been here for an hour already on a drop and hook um, damn <sighs> And it's probably going to be another two hours. So it's going to be like three hours total on this damn drop and hook. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, that's it for this video. I'm going to try to make the best out of this downtime. And then I'm going to get to Stratford, Missouri. And hopefully they can get me fixed pretty quick in there. Be in and out. Um, oh, man. Okay, so this guy's looking for a loaded trailer or an empty. So good deal. <laughs> I thought he was, I thought he was eyeballing the spot next to me to park. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyway, I'll, uh, I mean, I hope that guy shows up any second, but, uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.